What's up guys? Welcome to Light Source Engraving. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're a regular viewer, I appreciate you returning. Now, the name of the channel is Light Source Engraving Lasers and More. Today is one of those and more videos. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. I haven't had a new phone in two years with the S22 Ultra, but I've been in the Samsung line since the very first Note, and I keep going with the same Samsung line just to be able to use the S Pen and all the features that it has. So today we're going to unbox the S24 Ultra, and without further ado, let's just get right into it. And if you are new to this channel, then you are not used to seeing my unboxing knives. So today's unboxing knife, I'll be using this K-Bar Kukri Machete. So we can cut right into here, real nice and easy. All right, and this is how it's arriving from Samsung. I will have the phone in here as well as the screen protector and the S view case. So let's just toss that out of the way. There's screen protector, screen protector, case, and the phone. These boxes have gotten significantly smaller. Unfortunately, these have nice pull tabs on them. So I won't even need to use my unboxing knife. Let's just try out the pull tab. There's one, very satisfying. And there's two, also very satisfying. Now, before I move ahead, let me get my S22 Ultra and turn on my overhead garage lights. Now we've got some more light we'll be able to see. And for those of you that like the top-down view, I can do that as well. So there, it says some stuff on the back. I'm not gonna read that. Let's just open it up. So in the box, there's a cutout for the cameras. We take this piece out. We do see it's hidden in there. We have our data cable. And then our removal tool for our SIM card. So we got data cable, SIM card removal tool. Hide in that part of the box. And then I've elected to go with the blue, the titanium blue phone. So those lights are gonna wash that out a little bit. Let me switch over to my other camera. It's a little better on the rougher light. And then, then we have our protector on the front. Okay, so on the back, we do have just one little sticker that I removed. It has a really tiny barcode on it. Assume that has the SIM card info or the IMEI info. The IMEI is also engraved on the back here, real small. And then this feels nice. I like not having the edges of the screen on the side. I've been waiting for that to go away for forever. Uh, let's take this screen protector off as it's black and we can't see through it. That was very satisfying. And what do you think? I think we should swap SIM cards now. It looks very nice. Let's 
compare it to the S22 Ultra. So far, so good. I like it. All right, let's pop this SIM card out. SIM card holder. I don't have a SIM card in it yet. There we go. And do the same for the bottom of this one. There we go. Oh, let's just swap this bad boy out. SIM card is swapped. Let's turn it on. Hopefully it has some charge. There it goes. start up so there's what phone looks like restart and switch to the sim so while that's restarting let's take a look at this s view case normally not a fan of cases like this my phone normally resides in an otter box but I couldn't get an otter box here in time. So I opted for this one. And actually, it's not bad. It's molded to fit around. So this looks good. It's got a nice suede interior. And then a little pouch to hold a card or something like that. But I do want to get an OtterBox clear case so that I'll be able to see this nice blue shine through. So let's pop this in here and see how it looks. Hey, it recognizes it immediately. That's pretty cool. For your review, do you agree to the Samsung terms? Agree to the policy. I'm not going to agree to diagnostic data. Easy setup with another device. I have my Android device. Oops. And it automatically popped up saying to get started scan a QR code to copy account settings and more so set up I'm gonna scan our QR code continue set up on your new device All right, folks, while that's doing its thing, finishing up transferring, let's open up this Spigen, 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 Galaxy S24 Ultra Tough Armor Case. So let's switch back over to side view. And we have the Spigen Galaxy S24 Ultra Tough Armor Case. Pull this tab out and pull the case out. And I think this is a, this is a MagSafe case. So it should have the magnet built in. That doesn't feel too bad only a single layer 
Uh, nope, double layer. Here's our rubber layer, and then our outer protective layer. And here's the mag fit. Mag fit is what it's called. And it does have a little kickstand on it. So that's cool. Hopefully it works with the screen protector. We'll, uh, let's see. It does have some extra padding there. And then here's the back. And we'll show you that it does have a back. A magnet does stick to it, so it does have the mag fit with that metal ring there. I do not know if this interferes with the wireless charging. And I don't know if the SVU case interferes with the wireless charging either. All right, screen looks very nice. Let me get that off of there. Very snappy. So let's get my apps installed. Let's see. Anchor makes not installed yet. It's working on it. Maps is installed. So that's positive. They're slowly transferring over. Hopefully it's got enough battery life to transfer all the apps over. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, folks, we're back. Battery went dead on my S22, and it's almost dead on this one. So it didn't quite get through all the data transfer. So I'm going to have to restart it. However, I did get a few things set up. The phone seems so far pretty good. Camera's looking good. I like that it has the 5X zoom and then the 10X is digital. The 5X, uh, I use that definitely much more often. But overall, this case looks good. Magnet's working. Uh, this isn't a bad uh, get me by till I get, our, get an OtterBox case. Kickstand works. So yeah, not bad. But that's it for this one. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And most importantly, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.